What's happening guys, it's Mikaya with Fast Tips Gaming and I'm going to be showing you how to solve a problem you may run into while trying to link your PSN or Xbox Live or Nintendo online account with your Epic Games account. The method I'm about to show you is official by Epic Games themselves and works 100%, so let's get right into it. After I created my Epic Games account, I got the error message account already linked. I knew this wasn't the case, so I emailed Epic Games, and this is the first automated response I got. I then replied with my account info and waited around 3 hours until they responded with another automated message. They said what happened when I first started playing Dauntless or Fortnite. I didn't create an account, so Epic Games created a nameless account for me. When I went online to create an account myself, I should have clicked the PlayStation symbol if I was gaming on PlayStation, the Xbox symbol if I was gaming on Xbox, and the Nintendo Switch symbol if I was playing on the Switch. This is the only way to link your account to your Epic Games account. As a side note, do not disconnect your nameless account from your console account now or in the future or you will lose all your purchases and save data. Big oof. Now that you know what's going on, here are the steps you need to take in order to properly link your account. Number one, unlink everything from the account that you yourself created and delete your account. It took Epic Games a few days to fully delete my account, but when they did, they sent a confirmation email. Do not move on to step number two until you have received your confirmation email that your account has been officially deleted. Number two, click on the link I've included in the description, or copy and paste it to your search bar to get to this screen. If you feel uncomfortable doing this, then that's completely fine. Epic Games will send you the exact same link in an email if you just ask them. Number three, click on the link inside of the link I've given you, and it will give you the option again to create an account. Remember, this is where we went wrong before. Click on the platform you're currently playing on and complete the basic instructions to create your account from there. This time, your nameless account and your created account will be one and the same. Remember to use your console info when creating your account this way. And that's it. That's all there is to it. I know it's frustrating and tedious, but if you guys have any questions or concerns, let me know in the comments section below. I am here to help and entertain today. <laughs> Alright, thank you guys so much for your continued support. Stay gaming, stay busy.